This is Jake Devonport with the support team at Van Dyke Software logging on with a video introduction to Secure CRT's chat window. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use the chat window to do more in less time with Secure CRT for Windows. A lot of what you see here will also work for those of you running Secure CRT on Linux and Mac OS. The chat window is displayed by opening the view menu and choosing the chat window menu item. The chat window appears underneath the Secure CRT terminal screen and by default it provides an area where commands or other text can be typed in and edited locally on the Secure CRT side before being sent all at once to the connected machine upon pressing the enter key. Many a Secure CRT customer has wondered why is it called the chat window? Many years ago, a Van Dyke Software customer using an early version of CRT wanted to post multiple lines of poetry to a bulletin board chat room all at once, thereby eliminating the risk of other chat room members injecting their own comments between each line of the poem. The chat window allowed this poet to leisurely compose multiple lines of prose locally within Secure CRT and then send them all at the same time. Today, the chat window allows IT professionals to save oodles of time in the following ways. Number one, commands can be composed locally to avoid delays over high latency networks like satellite connections. This helps to eliminate remote command line editing frustration caused by the remote display being out of sync with what you've already typed. Number two, a local command history allows you to reissue or modify earlier commands while you're connected to a remote device that doesn't provide a command history of its own. And third, the chat window allows you to broadcast commands to multiple machines all at once. Let's take a closer look at each of these three benefits. Within the chat window, you enter text as you normally would by typing each character of the command you want to send. The command text isn't actually sent to the remote until you press the enter key on your keyboard. You have normal editing capabilities within the chat window with a couple of exceptions. First, to embed multiple lines within the chat window, use the control enter keyboard combination. And second, composition of special sequences involving escape or control characters is not currently available within the chat window. Although if one or more control characters is already in the clipboard, you can paste them into the chat window as one workaround. In addition to manually typing text here, you can also copy multiple lines from another application or even from the Secure CRT terminal screen and paste them into the chat window for review and editing. Once you're ready, press the enter key to send all of it to the remote machine. The chat window is also a nice tool to use if you aren't sure what's currently in the clipboard and you want to verify what's there and maybe even modify it before sending it to the remote machine. You can resize the chat window by dragging the divider bar at the top so as to either take up less screen real estate or make more room available for viewing or composing multiple lines of text. Each command you send from within the chat window is stored in an internal history that is maintained the entire time Secure CRT is running. To cycle through earlier commands, use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. When you find an earlier command you're interested in, you can send it right away by pressing the enter key. If necessary, you can modify an earlier command before sending it to the remote machine. While Secure CRT is running, the chat window will allow you to recall up to 200 prior commands from the history. You can increase the number of commands stored in the chat window history by opening Secure CRT's global options, selecting the terminal appearance category, and modifying the chat window history value. Another time saver is the option to send chat to all tabs. I'll connect with a session in a new tab and you can see that with this option enabled, text within the chat window is sent to all connected tabs within the same Secure CRT application window. In Secure CRT 7.0 on the Windows platform, you can enable session tiling to see the results of your commands to all machines at once, perhaps saving you a little more time. As of Secure CRT version 7.0, tiling functionality is available in Secure CRT only on the Windows platform, but there is a plan to add tiling functionality for supported Mac and Linux platforms in an upcoming release. If you're connected to many tabs, but you want to exclude one tab from receiving the data from the chat window, you may want to use Secure CRT's lock tab functionality. Simply right click on the tab and lock it, providing a blank password for the sake of expediency. Repeat this process for any other tabs you wish to exclude. Data broadcast from the chat window will not be sent to locked connections. Once you're finished working with the desired machines through the chat window, unlock the excluded tabs to begin interacting with them again. 
Alternatively, you could exclude one or more tabs by sending them to a new secure CRT window before you broadcast any commands from the chat window. Then, once you're finished working with the desired machines, you can drag the excluded tabs back into your main secure CRT window. By default, if the chat window is visible when secure CRT is closed, it will automatically be visible the next time secure CRT is started. The same holds true if the chat window is not visible when secure CRT is closed. It will not automatically be visible the next time secure CRT runs. Specific sessions can be configured to show the chat window initially, while other sessions can be configured to open without the chat window being visible. Here I have two sessions that are configured with different settings for initially displaying the chat window. The first session, Linux Server, is configured to open without the chat window displayed. In contrast, the second session, Remote Machine, is configured to make the chat window visible when connecting. If the first session is disconnected and the second session is used to connect, you can see the chat window is automatically displayed. If the second session is then disconnected and the first session is used again to make a connection, you can see that the chat window is not displayed. Since the primary tab in Secure CRT governs the geometry and display characteristics of all subsequent tabs, connecting to the second session in a new tab does not affect the display of the chat window. That's all for this video segment. I hope this has been useful to you. If you have questions, comments, or ideas about the chat window that you'd like to address, or if you would like to see additional content about other Secure CRT features and functionality, please contact our technical support team. In the meantime, here's to hoping you can take advantage of Secure CRT's chat window to do more with less time in your daily work. This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software, logging out.